Well, rainy day. I forgot to put the top up on the Roadster, so that means it's going to be wet sitting for a little while. Uh, we are back on our pickup. We're going to finish that top up, do the few little things we need to do there. Uh, ooh, in the background, probably see a little bit of that. This one's actually a buddy of mine. He's got his Chevelle and, uh, well, I don't know. He's just doing some upgrades to it. So essentially, I think he went up, uh, went to Speedway. I think he's ordered himself uh, like full disc brake dealios. So we put that together last night. This is like ready to rock. I think he's just basically just rebuilding everything. It's uh, basically got everything all ripped off last night, uh, but putting all new ball joints and tie rod ends, uh, redoing everything. Didn't really look like it needed it, but eh, he kind of went the full Monty and... Uh, Everything's sitting there, so him and his buddy are kind of just doing their thing on here. Uh, I think last night they they swapped out the rear coils, the springs, they put all new brakes, did all that jazz on the back, so it's going to be a pretty nice driver. It does have a nice running motor, but I think he's dropping, we're going to be swapping it out. He's got a 383 that he's going to put in, so 383, probably turbo 350. I think it has a Phi Tech, like some kind of an EFI, so... Be giving them a hand there, going to be swapping all that stuff around. All right, so back on here. Plan. We are going to get all the seals done. I want to do that. I also want to do get the rear window in. Although with the rain, I need a nice hot day to actually get this going to stretch it. Uh, maybe I'll bring out the steamer and see if we can get a few of these little wrinkles out. It would be kind of cool. Not too fussed over it, but. But the big thing we want to do is I got all those little steel trim pieces to go inside of here with the rubbers to seal up the doors and all that jazz. Under the front we have that up against the windshield. That's the plan there. Got a little more gap on this side than the other so I might still give the roof a little more of a tap. I'm just worried that if things flex and move it uh, I don't know I just don't want it to, to hit the glass. So our choices we have going on here are, we have multiple things. So this is the trim that I used on the back and it kind of, I think, made my top sit a little taller than I wanted, but yeah, we can always adjust it as it goes down. I gave provisions around the side windows when they're rolled up, so that shouldn't be an issue at all. And uh, yeah, I don't know, my glue feels okay. What do we got? All of our trim pieces, I believe, are back here. I call them trim. But they're just the, all of our, I can't remember which side this goes on. Hey, this is going to fasten our stuff. This is probably for the other side. I made it. We got a bunch of these pieces that we all pre-fit. For the top. So, for example, on this side... Dang it, did I grab the same one? No, I think I went this way. This is gonna screw into here. It's gonna sit along the top. Hmm, why does that look? Maybe I didn't trim it. Anyways, that's gonna sit into there. We gotta paint these up. We gotta get them on there. Our plan is gonna be that this is gonna sit here. I went to Princess Auto. We got some of this stuff here. So this is gonna, Oh yeah, we're going to trim this down some more too, I guess. We're going to put this stuff on it. Oh no, that looks pretty good. And then this will press up against the window. So when we put it down, we're going to have a nice seal across the front brow. Uh, this also we're going to use on the side glass. Because we have this trim, which we got to fit. But it's going to sit in the door here, wherever I put it. It's going to sit in here. Maybe it'll be the opposite way. I'm not sure now. I think in my head that it was going to sit this way. And then we're going to do the same thing with that rubber. So when we roll the glass up, it'll be like a modern car where uh, it's going to, the window will seal up against the rubber. So we should have a good seal there. We should have a good seal in the front. And then in the back, again, I need to get that stuff tight. So the idea is you're going to have a little schlit and we're gonna pull and glue it all the way around 
and then we can kind of work our window magic. I do have to get glass cut. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if I'm going to go glass yet or we'll do like Lexan or something. But we got to get this thing sitting together. We got to get a template made for that. And then that way we can bolt everything together with our, our new made little dealio. And uh, I feel like we're going to win at this thing. Get a little bit of a win here. What are we kidding? We won. We got that top going. It's good. We're just going to make everything much nicer. That's the plan. Uh, well, first things first. This, I'm going to trim up this stuff. We're going to get... We'll start with the sides. So we're going to do this. I'm going to doll it up. I'm thinking I'm almost going to have to do these backwards sort of way I did it. Like, the steel's going to go against... You know, I don't know. I don't know. In my head, it was going to be one way, but that rubber stuff's pretty thick. We do have choices here though, so if this stuff doesn't work, I did buy some of this, which is like a peel and stick and it's got a channel on it. So if the one way doesn't work well, I could glue this onto here or it's got two sided tape and then it can press against it. So I don't know. I want to, I'd rather have this. I feel it's just, you know, like a forever thing should last. All right, and then the other option I had, like over the glass, was I was just going to cut little slivers of this, so when the roof went down, this would actually make a tight seal across the top of the glass. And then this is just an extra layer of, we don't get rained on when we're driving. <laughs> My Roadster has a, when you drive in the rain a little bit there, then it just kind of like splatters over the top and gets a filler wet. So try to avoid that in this truck. Alrighty, so let's get uh, let's get started. Yeah, let's start with this and just see where we get. I'm gonna do the full Monty here, and then I have a funny feeling I'm gonna have to switch these around. Make everything a little extra big. Just so in case I screw up, we have room <laughs> to fix my errors. It works, but I feel I'd made it to go on this way. So this goes to the inside, but I think I have to change this around, which means I have to remake these, I think. I'm gonna need to put this on the other side and I need to make it so that this fits inside against the glass because there's not much of this material actually going to get screwed into the roof part so which is okay it's really simple we're just going to use the old stretcher shrinker and we should be able to win at this i think all i got to do is well yeah we'll figure it out <laughs>
Well, it's not terrible. I definitely trimmed a little too much off the front. We got a little bit of a gap there, but I can weld a little bit on to bring that seal down. Overall, it's, it's hitting. It's not quite tight, but I can take that lip and I can bend it a little bit just to get it a little tighter. But overall, it's pretty good. I got to still figure out this area. So we got to do there. I got to do all the door seals, which is just going to be that peel and stick stuff should work well for all of that. But that's working. We'll have to take this off and paint it yet, but it's also going to give me an added layer of something to hold this edge on and not have to worry about it by chance, maybe coming off or something. But we got to tweak that a little, but that worked out pretty good. So all we got to do is repeat this on the other side. Well, I got to fix that a little bit, but because I trimmed this, you can see here, I trimmed it up because it was kind of hitting stuff and I should have just left it kind of flat. So we can just add a little bit onto there, make this thing kind of point down a little and that should seal into there. I still need to do something up here because it's, it wants to, this thing wants to rub this top. So unless I do more sheet metal and I kind of just come out a little bit, that will give it that this thing doesn't want to rub the top. I don't know if you can grasp what I'm saying here. You can see how right here, we could trim this, but then when the top's off, it screws things up. So I'd rather just, we have room in there. I wonder if I can add on to that. Maybe I add this and just force this vinyl up. I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. For now, I just want to get the seals working and then we're going to finesse and fine tune everything.
I am pretty happy the way this all turned out. We got a decently tight seal down here just with some extra foam. And then we have all of our weather stripping all in place. Pretty much ready just to rip it off and have to paint it. I'm going to... Uh... A good one there, bud. <laughs> Want to uh, take this out in the sun and uh, see if I can stretch this and get this to glue into place. Would be kind of nice before I do a little slit anywhere. Um, let's see over on this side. You can see how the window's all holding itself in place nice. <clears throat> this side's a little, a little different on the take, but get our seal. The rubber's kind of butted up nice against the glass. We just have this little, little problem area here, but we'll kind of dig in and try to figure it out. We got a few little wrinkles that I'm going to try to, well, either hit it with the heat gun, but everybody says you could use a heat gun to do that. I don't know how that is really going to work, but I think it would just get hot and not actually do anything. I'm just going to get that to warm up. Like maybe it's actually, I went once, it's a little better, but I don't know how that would work unless it's like steel where you would uh, heat and shrink it. I don't know how that works with vinyl. You're supposed to get it like super hot, I'm not sure. There's also the steaming, you're supposed to be able to get wrinkles and things out. There's just a wee bit much material here. I did hit it before a bit, it is actually better. Honestly, and we got mosquitoes around, flies, it's that time of year. To me, it just feels like this is going to make it baggier. Look, it's really hot, but I don't know how you make that go away like up here I don't know maybe you're supposed to just shape it a little and then push and pull it and then it'll go away I don't know <laughs> like it's hot but it's not really going anywhere it still looks the same I'm not sure. I'm going to have to play with that some more and see if we can figure out that or the steaming. or That definitely doesn't seem to work, so I don't know what people are talking about when they say you just heat it up and it'll shrink. It's not. Maybe that's a different kind of vinyl. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to pull these trim pieces off. That's the plan. We're going to splash a little bit of paint on them. And... Uh, Oh yeah, like the inside. I'll show you what we did there. See how that's hanging out. So up on this front, we've kind of smashed in that, that felt you've seen me put in there. So that's giving me a double seal on the glass. Mind you, over here it almost looks like this glue isn't holding that we used for the top. Which makes brings me back to my concern where gluing a top on doesn't seem to want to work perfect. Like some of the glue's coming off over there. Over here doesn't look like it's... Well, I'm glad I doubled up that steel because I don't know. You would think that should work but that was my big concern. That that top, the vinyl's gonna end up pulling itself off. The glue isn't gonna stay glued. Anyways, over here, Buddy's been working on his car. So you can see, over here, I guess he did like a whole speedway kit. So this thing's like, we got full, he put spindles, calipers, rotors, got the whole kit caboodle on there, kind of detailed up under the car. So this thing's got new brakes. Everything new, front and back, springs, you name it. I think the next step he's doing is 
I don't know if they'll be out today. Probably today, I'm thinking. They're going to probably yank the motor out. And uh, he wants to start detailing everything under the hood here. He's got his motor. He brought his motor in and stuff like that. So over there, we got his 383. And a Turbo 350. I think it's going to get a mild stall. Just trying to find some of his wirings. He's got uh, one of these Holly snipers he wants to put on there. So, yeah. It's uh, slowly getting there. I wouldn't say slowly, it's actually boogieing along pretty good. It's a pretty nice little unit. Anyways, I'm going to go pull the top off. I don't know if I'm going to put it outside yet and try to get that working. Uh, where I can kind of... Uh, I didn't manage to get glass yet, but I might try to put the rubber in and then uh, basically glue and press that thing in place maybe. I don't know. We'll see how that works. And then I can pull all the trim pieces off, get a little bit of paint on them, put it back together. And then technically once I get some glass, the top is done. I might actually look around and see if I have some Lexan in the other shed. One of my sheds I might have. So uh, if I do, then I can probably just cut that, throw it in. Cause I'm probably just going to tint it and it's just the back window and I'll, I'll be fine with that. Unless I have a piece of uh, loose glass that I can cut. We'll see. I don't know what I have in the shop here, but maybe I have a piece in one of the sheds, like usual. Uh, all right, well, enough yammering. Let's give her. <laughs>
So we got one coat of paint, well two on the back, we got one on the front here, gonna do another coat on there yet. I decided to not wait for the outside and I found a better heat gun. I have like a cordless one and it works okay, but this thing gets like a lot hotter. So I kind of tackled this, we heated it up, ran some glue. It was working for the most part. I was struggling for a little bit, like on the corners I'm having a struggle with, but uh, I kind of clamped this in. This thing's not supposed to be tight in there. It's actually supposed to be out more, but for the most part, I'm just gonna leave it in till these are glued. The corner like this side here is not all the way tight, but it won't matter because there's supposed to be a rubber and this trim actually sits away. So anyways, we'll leave it in there. Let that stuff try to dry. We can trim this up. We're gonna start working on the back, the window. I'm gonna go, again, I haven't looked, but I'm gonna see in the shed if I have a nice thick chunk of uh, Lexan that I can use. Then I'll cut it uh, and stick it in there and then we can actually bolt this thing in and it's actually like technically done for the back side. And then we just gotta put those pieces back on. For the most part, I've been going around just re-gluing some stuff that's kinda a little iffy, but we seem to be, seems to be good in here. It's just the few other spots. We trimmed up a few pieces up here. So we got these little, little tiny pads because these little pieces are where it sits on here in the center post and all that. So we're going to deal with that. This stuff, we have the vinyl. So it's kind of just going to do its thing on here. I could probably take this off. This is going to be whatever it is. It'll end up at some point in its life. It'll probably just get wrecked, but that's just, just the, the nature of the beast, I think, for the most part. Ugh, now my tape's like probably permanently stuck on there. Anyway, I'm gonna peel this off and uh, see if I can find some plexiglass slash Lexan.
Well, folks, you have no idea how long this fight's been going on. <laughs> I managed to find some little machine screws. Because they need to be a little bit longer. Only in some places. Golly. I really don't think I'm taking this window out after. This bugger is a permanent piece now. All right, we have one more left. Hopefully, we can get that one and call this back window done. So, these screws are yay long, these are like yay long, and I have to just add like the littlest of extra to it. That and some of the threads kind of got buggered being aluminum. So this is a little bit of a different thread, but it's able to dig into the aluminum and do us, do us well. Except this one. This one might be completely screwed. We'll see if I can fix it yet. It's not looking good though. a little bugger. <laughs> I may be trying to ram some JB Weld in there somehow. Unless I can re-tap it. Oh my goodness. That window gave me a run for my money. Well, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Holy. All right. Well, I'll finish fixing this up and then we're going to reassemble that and smash it on the truck and with any luck uh, the top is done. Golly, did that thing kick my butt. I'm happy the window's in. 
I'm probably never going to change that piece of uh, plexi. I don't care what it looks like. I think that took me two, almost three hours to get in. And then we'd had the problem with the screws and things like that. I had everything said and done. So basically I had to touch up the paint and stuff on there because I was just using clamps, everything to try to suck that window in and then try to get my screws all started. So I didn't do too bad. I have all but one screw I can't get in and it's kind of buggered. I'm gonna have to like ram some JB Weld in there and then I'll try to do something maybe, I don't know. Um, eventually I'm gonna do something inside because I think this thing's gonna be pretty ritzy in the sense of like fancy interior stuff like that, that it probably deserves a really nice top in there. But for now it's fine. I'm happy, we got all the seals in, got our panels in. Tried shrinking, it just doesn't work. I mean, it's a little better actually, now that I think about it, but I think it's just the way my wrinkles are, they can't just go away. So in the last bit you just seen, it's because like I say, I had the clamps, I was everywhere, just violently trying to clamp that thing in place and then we buggered all the paint up on it. But I am happy the way it turned out. Needs to get all cleaned up yet and stuff and like the glass is not, sorry, the plexi is not that perfect, but it's, uh, it's good enough. Eventually I plan to tint the window anyway, so that'll probably, well, either look worse or fix it up. <laughs> oh man. Top for now is officially done. So I won't be seeing any more of that. I got to get under the bed. I realized while I was uh, farting around with the back window that I haven't done anything in the bed. So I don't know if I'm going to paint it color or uh, I don't know. All I know is I got to get the panels out. I have to actually get it fastened down properly. Um, I think only one panel over the fuel tank has paint on it. So I got to paint the bottom side of the front two panels and we got to fasten it down, seal it up. It's basically does not need to ever come back out again. So I want to make those all permanent. Uh, what else are we doing? I don't know, the list is pretty short. I think the next thing I want to do, well, I got my lug nuts, everything in and whatever. There's a story to that, but they don't, they didn't fit well in there. So you almost had to work every washer a little bit just to get them in. It was, I don't know, whatever. It's done. <laughs> I got my hose on. We're good there. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some more interior stuff, but I want to do a little more mechanical. I would love to try to figure out the casting, those the parts there, like I was talking about before. The, uh, the front hubs or caps. My buddy here, he actually brought me some. He had a pair of them. I thought that would be awesome. It'd be easy to cast, but they're like so much bigger. They're, they're not crazy bigger, but it's big enough that it doesn't do what I want. And it doesn't have the bullet, but you know, I could have just filled it with Bondo like I did here. So I'm going to still go with this one. My plan is um, I'm going to shave all these things out and we're going to fill it, smooth it. And then, I don't know, hopefully we can doop, drop this in and actually cast this thing. That would be just killer if I get that to work. All these caps usually always have this weird flat spot. So I do have a buddy that has some bullets. But I, I actually do want to try this. I want to see if I can cast this. We'll try that first. My buddy has some bullets from Speedway, but they're just, they go between a steel rim. And I'm just wondering if I cut this outer ring, if I could bolt it on to my wheels and it would work. But if this works out in the next day or so, it won't matter. So we'll be playing with that a little bit. Uh, probably working, like I say, do that, the bed, get that done. Maybe I'll splash some paint in there. I don't know yet. Uh, I do have to finish up the firewall because I realize everything else is super nice on this truck. So this front panel, let's lift this up. I've realized I've never finished this front panel and it never bothered me till now. Now I'm like, everything else is so nice on the truck. I probably should grind this and try to clean that up better. Cause even, even inside is not terrible. So yeah, we're gonna try to hit all the things and do all the things. So that's the, that's the next step. There's actually quite a bit of work in here now that a guy looks at it. Yeah, whatever. Once we get it screwed down, 
I don't know if I'll tack it down. I might just screw it down and then we'll do a heavy seam seal all around. That way, if we ever had to, we can pull the panels separate from the, from the bed, trying to take the bed off. Little wins. <laughs> the window's a huge win, because now it's, now it's got the look. Now when you're inside the truck, it actually like has all the feels of a normal cab, which is kind of what I was shooting for. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, not too much left, but uh, well, yeah, we'll take it one thing at a time. Anyways, I think that's where we are going to leave this one. So as always, folks, I want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Later.